copyright review. If there's anyone in this world that understands the intimidation that a huge corporation can have on an individual who's just trying to shit post on YouTube, it would be Ma or Jan Animations or pretty much anyone that works with derivative works. Now, I'm not saying that Mines is as complex as the one we're about to talk about, but I'm just gonna say, being a 14, 13 year old kid and sitting down in front of Hasbro's legal team on a call about your own YouTube channel is pretty dang intimidating. In fact, I didn't even file disputes on claims of videos that even didn't show clips of content because YouTube would just vehemently fuck me in the ass by just deleting my video automatically signing with Hasbro on a lot of them. God forbid it was a Japanese company. But as you guys should know, and if you don't know, well now you know, PewDiePie is in a war with T-Series, which is an Indian based music company who is really, I guess, really popular over in India. It's the main destination for all your Bollywood music. And they've been in a race for the number one spot. Well, recently, somehow, in the corruption that is India, they just got a court order, apparently, to have PewDiePie's diss tracks removed from YouTube. Yeah, somehow, T-Series sued PewDiePie in India without PewDiePie being able to defend himself because they didn't give him the option to. I've never heard of a lawsuit that is literally one-sided as in the other party isn't involved in the litigation, but I'm not a lawyer, maybe that's normal. And apparently the courts found, the high courts of Dali found that PewDiePie is in fact, yes, a racist, a Nazi, and a bigot, and his songs were racist, bigoted, and filled with hate speech, wrong think, and all kinds of other horrible terms. You know, so legally in India, PewDiePie is now a racist. Uh, it also said that the songs were defamatory in nature, and that uh, T-Series uh, has the right to have these songs removed. And so the courts have apparently, now it hasn't been fully verified, but there are sources saying that the courts have ordered that PewDiePie remove the songs. Remove the songs and disable access from it ever being posted again, which I don't know how they think that is going to work. Once something is on the internet, it is there forever. And trust me, no matter how much you want it to go away, no matter how much you beg for it to go away, it will always be there. And I know that firsthand because God, there are some cringy videos that aren't found on this channel, but unfortunately, certain pony archives have it and i would never dare tell them to take it down though because you know horses man however this kind of sets a horrible precedent in india i'm not sure of their fair use laws i'm not sure of their copyright and trademark laws there are certain things that happen where sometimes trademarks are first invented but first to file so you can have someone who first invented something but someone else files for the trademark first which means they win in that country, meaning that they own the trademark in that country. It's a very weird, nebulous thing. So I'm not sure on India's laws, but I'm fairly certain that since YouTube is based in America, that they wouldn't kowtow to this. However, India is a huge destination, as you can see, because of the rising popularity in T-Series, you can tell that that's a lot of money that would be lost if they did get on India's bad side. So if we see YouTube cuck out to India, we know why. Peter Pie's song does go into a few things, especially congratulations, where it talks about the fact that they started their business illegally, the fact that there are ongoing Me Too allegations regarding the head CEO, how they're probably in collusion with the, uh, the Indian Mafia, though that's a joke, please don't sue me, that's a joke, and all kinds of other stuff. However, that's not defamation, that is literally reading the news articles that are out there. So defamation is not factual. You can't sue for defamation for someone saying what literally is happening. The tax evasion, the Me Too allegations, 
the starting by pirated songs, these are all factual statements that are going on. He never says that you're guilty of it, he simply mentions that they are things going on and that he really hopes that you haven't done anything wrong because the media will always crucify the number one spot. However, we all know why the media is going after Pootie Pie over here and not as hard on T-Series. It's pretty obvious. That being said, this is a horrible precedent and I always hate that it's always decided by these larger guys because sometimes they have, if, if PewDiePie drops the ball on this, YouTube does remove the videos. That's such a horrible precedent for us. I can tell you right now that I have given Hasbro hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, simply because of the fact that I didn't want to dispute stuff. I can tell you that I've spent them so much money that it makes me utterly sick and repulsed at how much of a cuck I was being as a 13 year old kid versus now. And uh, it just it does not feel good, man. It doesn't feel good. And I wish I had the knowledge that I do now regarding strikes, claims, uh, copyright, trademark, the differences between the two, the case law that we have, the legal precedent that has been set. And I wish I had all that information. And this seems like information that YouTube should give you and that YouTube should have. And remember, YouTube used to say they would protect us. That's been gone for quite a long time. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this plays out. T-Series is by and large more relevant, I guess, than PewDiePie simply because of its nature. It's a music thing. People are going to listen to music more than, than they're going to rewatch PewDiePie videos. It's just how it's going to be. That being said, PewDiePie will always be the number one subbed creator until he's dethroned and trust and believe there are a couple creators on the rise to dethrone PewDiePie. I didn't even know that Dude Perfect is almost at 40 or over 40 million subscribers. That is insane. Not to mention all the money that those guys make alone from all their nerf deals and all their other stuff. YouTube has changed. While we're saying that these guys are independent, a lot of these guys have huge teams behind them. PewDiePie is probably one of the few that literally is just him, a camera, and two editors, Brad1 and Brad2. And it kind of shows because PewDiePie doesn't know how to record in high quality. It's a shame that your laptop gives us better picture quality and audio quality than your normal setup, despite it literally being like $10,000. Anyways, that's what I think. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this case. Do you think T-Series is going to win this? As in, do you think YouTube is really going to bow down to the Indian courts? I mean, this isn't just T-Series requesting this. This is T-Series going to India's high courts. Granted, PewDiePie didn't have a chance to defend himself and they're ordering him to remove it and to lay access to it. What's gonna go on here? If you guys love my videos, be sure to like it, subscribe, and if you just adore me, I mean, you just think I am straight up adorable, you can support me on Patreon, like some of these fine people who I don't give enough of a shout out to. I do know my Patreon is pretty much like a tip jar at this point. TWT, The Demon Fox, I Has Music 515, and Peter Kion Len, and Leslick Wajowski. Some of you guys have been literally with me for two years. That's incredible. I can't believe you actually have been giving me your shekels for that long, but I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Woo! Do it for the love, for the love.